What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick. Today I have something that is a little different. I do still have a custom set sort of to show you, but it is a little small, it does have a nice story with it, and I also just had a lot of things to talk about that wouldn't really make sense to put into videos of their own, so I'm just gonna talk about them all in this one. They're just a bunch of different things all related to the channel, and even though I did try to see if I could make them into full videos, they just really didn't have the substance to do that. Get to those though, so let's start with the custom set, which is this one. Okay, I know this doesn't look like much, and you'd be right in saying that it isn't really much. It is basically just a bunch of white pieces put together to make a small vignette. However, like I said, there is a story behind this. See, several months ago when I had a lot less subscribers, I did a giveaway where the winner would get to choose whichever custom figure they wanted. It did pretty well for the size at the time and certainly helped me grow a lot closer to 500 subscribers. And the winner of that giveaway was a viewer named Coco. Coco is still very active in the community, commenting on almost every single one of my videos, which I am extremely thankful for. Especially since when it came time to actually give them the prize, unfortunately they weren't able to accept it. We did try and figure out a solution, but ultimately we just couldn't do it. This meant that I had to re-roll and give someone else the prize, they did get it, everything is fine there, but I didn't want to leave Coco with nothing, especially since technically they did win, and I am a man of my word. Now, Coco has a channel of their own, and even though it's not that big, it is really good actually. Sure, there are definitely some things on the production side that could use a little bit of help, but hey, we all have to start somewhere, and they're starting off really well so far. But what they do on their channel is make things like this, and as I put this together, hopefully you'll start to see what exactly it's supposed to be, because this is the one that I chose to build from theirs, with their permission of course, they know I'm doing this, but it also happens to be probably the most simple mock that they have on their channel. Coco doesn't really have a set schedule, but they do upload rather consistently, always doing things like this. If you want to see some nice and small Star Wars mocks, you really should go check out their channel, because even something like this build, which is rather simple and small, still shows a lot of technical skill when it comes to building LEGO. And yes, I know that it is rather simple and it's something that a lot of people can do, but that doesn't take away from it. Link to their channel and the things they do is in the description down below, and I would highly encourage encourage you go check them out. The second thing I wanted to talk about today was in regards to the video title, Help Me Win So You Can Too. As some of you may know, there is a website called Extra Minifigures which sells things like custom LEGO instructions, custom sets, and authentic LEGO as well. I have a discount code on this website which if you use, you can get 10% off of your order. That discount code is, of course, BRICK. Here's the thing. Extra Minifigures is currently running a contest amongst his promoters, where whoever has their code used the most will win a $50 LEGO gift card. And this is where you come in, because if you use my code on that website and help me win the $50 gift card, I'm gonna turn it right back around and give it to one of you. The contest runs through the entirety of November, so the winning promoter isn't chosen until December. If I get any updates throughout November, as I should be, I will be passing those on to you so we can know how we're doing. And you don't even have to spend a ton of money. If you buy my $1 instructions and use my discount, that's good enough. If you do buy from them, just make sure to take a screenshot, a picture, something so that when the time comes, I can know who to enter. So again, the website is extraminifigures.com and the link to that is in the description down below. The last thing that I wanted to talk about was a question that's come up a few times since my Papa Glop Razorcrest video. Do I accept donations? If you recall, at the beginning of that video, I mentioned how one of my patrons very kindly donated $120 towards getting that set. While it isn't something that I advertise or ever will advertise, I just wanted to put it out there that if you want to donate towards a certain set, then just reach out to me. I know some of you aren't okay with that set being non-LEGO, but it really just comes down to being a matter of cost. If you would rather me use genuine LEGO, then I ask for your financial support in making that happen. Because if I can afford it, then of course I will, but in all reality, unfortunately, most custom LEGO sets 
sets are way more expensive than they should be. And if I can spend $250 instead of six or $700, then of course I would, just like most of you would too. You don't have to just support me through donations or anything, you can also sign up for my Patreon, which is the best way to directly support me, or you can even buy my merch. Which, by the way, I have new designs coming very soon. But like I said earlier, you can use code BRICK at extra minifigures and buy my instructions. There are a lot of ways to speak with your wallet, and not so much with hateful words. Also, I am going to be making some smallish changes to my Patreon, really just going to be adding a few more rewards and becoming more active on there. I don't know if you can hear my cat snoring, but he's snoring really loud right behind me. I have a few things planned for what I want to do there, even though some of them aren't necessarily LEGO related, but it's still something I've wanted to do for a long time anyway, so why not? The last thing I wanted to talk about was my minifig scale UT80. I had a few people reach out to me and ask where are the instructions considering that I put out the video a few months ago and even told some people that it should be out by the end of September. Well that was the plan as I was working with someone else in fixing certain areas that I wasn't too happy with. They were also going to help me with actually making the instructions themselves as I had never done so for such a large build. Fortunately they had something come up and could no longer continue work on it, essentially bringing the project to a bit of a standstill at the moment. While it is something that I am trying to work on, it's just not something that I really can put that much time into right now. But I haven't forgotten about it, I do still remember it pretty much every single day, and hopefully I can get back to working on that sometime soon. Oh, actually the final last for real thing that I wanted to talk about was just very quickly saying that when it comes to the month of December, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I don't want to give any spoilers, but I am a little excited about what I have planned and hopefully can pull it off like I have it imagined. Also, if all goes well, hopefully I can do a giveaway around that time as well. I don't want to make any promises right now because, well, I kind of grew a lot faster than I thought I would. I absolutely would certainly love to do a Christmas giveaway, and hopefully something that anyone, even Coco, could enter. So that's all I have for you today. Please do remember to check out Coco's channel in the description down below. Also remember to use code BRICK at extraminifigures.com in order to not only help me out, but hopefully set up another giveaway. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments down below. Please do remember to like this video if you liked what you saw, and subscribe if you want to see more custom LEGO. If you are in the majority of my demographic, here meaning an adult in America, please go vote if you haven't already. That's the big reason why I didn't make a full-on video today. It's election day here, and things are incredibly uncertain. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.